Hello all, Jeff here with a new video back on Forza Horizon 4 to check out the new car pass cars for this week. So, we have two Hoonigan Fords. One is the 1991 Jim Carter 10 Ford Escort Cosworth Group A and the other one is the 1971 Jim Carter 10 Ford F-150 Hooner Truck. So, let's check them out and see what I think of them. We'll start off with the Escort. So this is S1880, of course being an Escort from the 90s, all-wheel drive, 7.9 speed, 7.4 handling, 10 acceleration, 10 launch, 7.5 braking. Um, this is a very good car and it just reminds me of the, of the Escort World Rally cars from the 90s. And there, there's the stats for Imperial and metric measurements. Over 600 horsepower. It's not too bad at all. You may be thinking, what is this thing like to drive? Well, you quite, and this is in the Rally Monsters division. Let's check it out. Yep, it's all business under the hood. Um, just by looking at the thing, it just rem it just reminds me of... Um, what Carlos Sainz Sr. was driving in the 90s in the World Rally Championship. And it looks like Ken Block has upped that to another level. And you can just see that with his launch. It just, it just, you know, gets from stop to go. Like, it's instant. It's almost like it's from out of nowhere. And this is such a good car whether you're taking it on the road, off the road, um, yeah, and it's very high S1 class. You just need to do a few minor upgrades, and this would probably be a really, really good car in S1 class for cross country and dirt racing. And it just shows a lot of acceleration. Obviously, being a rally car, it's not that quick in a straight line, but if you take it to a tight, twisty track, this will do really good things. So, yeah, and being a, a if this is basically a world rally car and just Ken Block is just picked one up and made it a little better and good on him for doing so and it's yeah, it's not that drifty but I mean when you take it off road it does everything a rally car sh should it it does power slides very very good car look I haven't done much Horizon 4 um, online racing but this might be one of the cars I use because I'm already very happy with it in bone stop trim. It's quick in a straight line, it accelerates or quick in a straight line if the straights aren't too long. The acceleration's good, the grip's good. Yeah, happy days. And now we go on with the Hoona truck. So S2916, this is also all wheel drive and over 900 horsepower. Yep. It's a, it's a lot, but I thought this was un, going to be another Hoonicorn. It's not. Now, this is in the Extreme Track Toys Championships. You know, same championship you'd, you'd expect to see, like, Lotus, the Lotuses, um, what else? Um, like, the BAC Mono, stuff like that. Anyway, 6.8 speed, 8.2 handling, 9.2 acceleration, 10 launch, 8.7 braking. Now, unlike the Hoonicorn, this has this well, this also has a twin turbocharged engine, like the Hoonicorn, except it's a V6, not a V8. There you go. And the Hoona truck, it does look, it is pretty big. I mean, how they've lowered one of these F100s, um, you know, props to Ken Block and all the Hoonigan crew, because like you do see a few of the F100s from this era in Australia, and they are pretty big. And to, to get them, get this thing that low is amazing. Now, one thing, Playground Games, I don't know if it's the car itself, but yes, this has a V6 engine under the hood. As you can hear, it sounds like a V8. Whether that's an error from Playground Games' point of view, or or if that's just how I'm hearing it and made it sound, but apart from that, it, it's just. It's, it shocked me. I thought this was going to be one of those mental cars that goes sideways all the time. Like the Hoonicorn Mustang. This thing's completely different. This has grip for days. It just shocked me. Yeah, it's got all-wheel drive. It doesn't mean you can't slide the thing, but... One thing I figured out was... 
if you want to drift this thing, you need to wrench that handbrake because otherwise, this just has so much grip. I mean, yes, you will be able to drift it like a hernicorn, but you need to tune this thing, you need to upgrade this thing if you want to do hernicorn things in the Hoona truck. And yeah, I mean, yeah, on, yep, take it on the road, it might be alright. Apparently, this thing has race tyres. Now, this is this is the thing that shocked me. We go to this speed zone, which is a bunch of hairpins going uphill. Now, this speed zone is designed. If you want to get three stars here, it's you need a supercar or a hypercar. I've previously done the, got three stars here in the McLaren Center and the 2019 Porsche GT3 RS. However, I ended up getting my PB in this thing. <laughs> I did not expect that at all. Now, yep, I'll show you what this thing's like, bone stock in regards to drifting. It's okay, but you do need a wrench to handbrake if you want to actually drift. You know, it, it can hold a drift, but you do need to give the up, give it the upgrades required, whether that's more power, rear-wheel drive, a bit of both. Yeah, I, I, I thought this was going to be one of those mental drift cars, like the Hoonicorn, but it's not. It shocked me just how much grip this thing has, but then again, that's a beauty of Forza. You can just do up a car and make it uniquely yours. But yeah, that, that's my review of the two Hoonigan cars that have just hit Forza Horizon 4. Anyway, if you like the video, smash the thumbs up button, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and if you want to see more, Subscribe and tap the notification icon. If you've got if you got suggestions for stuff for me to do in Horizon 4, let me know in the comments. Also, Discord is in is linked in the description below. Anyway, this is Jeff here and happy racing. Cheese.